at the minute, I'm going for a nautical full leg sleeve. And then, yeah, I had this one done yesterday. So, yeah, we're going to go all the way up. There's still loads of canvas there. <laughs> Nathan's date is 34-year-old barber, Lisa. I'm quite well known for being a bit of a party girl where I live. Ooh la la! Are you OK? <laughs> a lot of people judge me. And obviously, I don't look like a choir girl. <laughs> What's your name? Nathan. Nathan, yes. I'm Lisa. Hello, Lisa, how are you? I'm All right. good, yeah. Just on the bear. Oh, yeah, I wanted to play safe, to be honest. I love your tats, by the way. Thank you. Have you got any? I have, actually. I've got, like, my whole sleeve down this side is done. Oh, is it? I've actually got my name tattooed on my back. <laughs> Does it? Oh, it's a bit embarrassing to me. Is it? Wait, so what sort of things are you into? I'm a bit of a gym bunny. Oh, yeah? Yeah, See, yeah. I'll go to the gym as well. Like. Do you? Yeah. I've done a lot of boxing that before. So, like, That's lots. hard work. It is very hard work. Really hard. Do you know what? I actually feel like I've been kind of tricked, I would say, that the guys, when I've met them, they've been a completely different person to what they turn into. Just started to get into swimming, you know? Like, oh, yeah. yeah, I like the old breaststroke, don't I? Like, I'm getting good at that. Oh, yeah. What about the breaststroke? <laughs> Every day's a school day, isn't it? You live and learn. I'm getting there. I still like to have a little bit of a boogie on a Saturday night. But... You've got some good moves or some really bad moves? Some... I can twerk. Kenny, I'm good at twerking. I am. No, no, not really. <laughs> Come on, you can have that on the house. Show me how to twerk. Go on. twerk? Yeah, you've Go got on. to do how, it. How, how, how does one twerk? Well, I'm not really very good at twerking. <laughs> 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 Lift your shirt up a bit. I'm not ready to hang my disco shoes up, but I want someone to come disco dancing with me. Go to see your ass! What do you want to do here, isn't it? And come home with me. <laughs> no, no, I'm yeah, not. No, I can't do that. No, no, sit back down, yeah. <laughs> and love me for me. Hello. Are you ready? We are ready. We are, yeah. We are ready. Come Are we playing footsie yet, or what? Mm. No, because there's a massive thing in between the table. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Stop it. So, for a guy, what, what tweaks your interest? To start with, banter. You've got to have the banter with someone, the connection with someone. You've got to find someone physically attractive. Yeah. If I meet a guy, you've got to bring something to my life. Yeah. I don't want meaningless, pointless, worthless sex with some guy that I don't fucking know. I'm quite certain, isn't you? Mm. I like it. Yeah. I feel now like I found myself and it is a completely turn the page, new chapter in my life. What have your exes kind of been like? See, I think there's a, there's a fine line between confident and arrogant. Arrogant, yeah. Not good. No. I just think I will never, ever let any man do that to me ever again. If you love someone, you know, you should make them feel amazing. You should bring out the best in them. Not talk to them like you've just trodden them. Do you know what? I can fucking deal with the fact that you cheated on me. I can't deal with the fact that I lost my independence and I lost my home. That must have been, like, quite hard, though. Didn't just lose my house, I lost my boyfriend, my two dogs, and living out of a suitcase, like, staying on people's sofas. I've lived on my own since I was 18, you know. I've been a really independent person. I've never had to rely on anyone else. So to lose all of that... It was really hard. Really hard, sorry. So what do you think it's going to take for you like, to trust someone again? A lot. I'm not just going to let some waif and stray walk into my life and walk all over me and take away, you know, my home comforts and who I am. Yeah, yeah. I went through a stage where, like, I just want to go out with my girls, have a good time and screw all of you lot. And I'm like, no, not all lads are like that. I am going to give someone a chance. You meant to have your soul, mate, be with someone forever. And I do want to find that. I'm a massive believer in you can't love somebody else until you love yourself. Yeah, cool. And do you think you love and yourself now? Or? Now, yeah. But if you need I... a little tip, just look in the mirror. Shut you should see yourself all right, innit? Shut up. It's true, don't you? Know, you should really look at yourself and like, you should love yourself. Quite five that. Yeah. yeah. So you would, babe. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to get a regular serving of love and romance.